Hey guys, it's Kylie Bear, and I'm here with Cadence, my brown Arabian, and here's her butt tag, and her W, and she has like a little necklace thing on, even though Cupcake is wearing her real necklace um, that she's had on for a very long time, but she doesn't have it on right now, which I'm going to go get it, so yeah. It's like a tie-dyed one. And then Cupcake could wear the one that Caden is wearing right now. <sighs> okay, so this is her necklace. Um, it's like pink, uh, pink, orange, and green tie-dyed. And this is just a turtle one that Cupcake can wear. She was wearing Cadence's necklace, but now she has to wear this one, and this is really hard with one hand. Okay, so I only have 20%, so we kind of have to hurry up. But yeah. Okay. Sorry about all that. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you my dog collection. Um, I can show you an overview. And then I will get started. I'm going to start with that stuff over there. So I'm saving all the plushies for last night. I have a lot of them, so beware. So I have all those plushies, and then I have those, and then I have that. And then I have all these. And yeah. So, it's, yeah, and then I also have other stuff. Like, I'll show you. Um, but yeah, that's just that stuff over there. And then I'm going to start with the sign on my door, and then I will go over there. But I want to show you something first so I don't forget. So I have this poster on my door. This is Kylie's room. It's a wolf collage that I made. And that's a new sign for my door. Okay, so I'm going to have to show you the thing so I don't forget. Look, it's TG. It's like 8 or 9 or something. And then this is what I wanted to show you so I wouldn't forget. It is like a glass. It's glass and... It's a light, a doggy light, and it lights up, but here, I'll do it. I'm turning it on, but you can kind of see that, but it works better in the dark, like, way better. Um, I forgot what type of dog it is. Um, well, I don't know what kind of dog it is. But, yeah, I've heard of it before. My... Um, I also have some other dog plushes, but I don't exactly know where they are. They're beagles and stuff, but yeah, I don't know where they are right now, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get started over here. So first off, here, I'm going to shut my door so I don't bother my, my mom and my brother because they're both sleeping. So yeah, I don't want to bother them. Okay, so here's Zoomer. He is the um, robotic um, Dalmatian dog, and all you have to go like you have to go like that, and then he'll have like question marks, and you have to ask him a question. On his eyes, will have question marks, and then you ask him like Zoomer, like sit or something, and then he'll sit. But you have to like train him because um, sometimes he doesn't always do it. Um, but yeah, and you don't even have to have a remote controller, he'll just go and play and stuff, and it's really cool. Okay, then I have, um, this dog snow globe that I made with my German Shepherd Skylar, which is a girl. And, yeah, you just see, like, a whole bunch of glitter. 
and I did glue it to the bottom, but it was just uh, super glue, so it doesn't work very good. So she doesn't really stick to the bottom anymore. But yeah, and then I just made that. And, well, I didn't just make it. I just, like, I made it a little while ago. Like, maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't know. And then I have this little doggy salt and pepper shaker. Um, it is... He doesn't have a... His name is Pepper, actually, yeah. Um, but yeah, and... I'm... Yeah, so I bought this at Pier 1, and basically we're not going to use it as a salt and pepper shaker. It's just for me for decoration. And stuff, so yeah, it just like, kind of fell over. But yeah. And then I have this chihuahua that my grandma gave me like years ago, and it broke, and it's, it's kind of broken. And like the ear fell off, it got a little scraped right there. Uh, I think it had a scarf and that fell off and it was sitting on a high heel and it broke off. So I love these. They're like those chihuahua, they're like chihuahua things and they will, uh, we were walking one day, I think it was with my grandparents a long time ago and it was like all, all my family and stuff and I saw like a whole, like you know when you're at stores and you see like those glass things in front of the stores and it basically shows you like those mannequins or whatever. Um, this one had, like, all these chihuahuas, and it was all these, and I love these so much, and I kind of want to, and I want to collect them. I don't know what they're called, I think they're, like, I don't know what they're called, like, I don't know where they're made in or anything, because it doesn't really have a tag or anything, but it's probably made, like, I don't know. But yeah, I love these so much, and I want to collect them, and they're so adorable. But this one kind of broke. But yeah, I'm really sad. Um, and then next I have this doggy purse with golden retrievers all over it. And it even has it on the straps. And inside it just has bones. Bones in it. Um, like dog bones. Not like skull bones. Of course, like dog bones. And then I have this salt and pepper shaker pug that we actually use downstairs well it was in the cabinet downstairs but I just wanted to show it because it's so cute and I love it um but I guess this one's name is Charlie because our dog's name is Charlie um yeah he's really cute I love it so much um but yeah he's so cute um his name is Charlie I guess um maybe Salt or Charlie I don't know and then that one might be Pepper or Oscar I have no idea but I know that that one is Pepper, because it's a cute name for a black lab and stuff. And plus, it's like a salt and pepper shaker. But this one actually has salt in it. Um, but yeah, we might use it again, but it goes down in the kitchen. But I just wanted to show you guys. And then here's the black one. Like I said, his name might be Pepper or Oscar, I don't know. And he has like a red color with white. And then this one has a black color with white polka dots. And then, yeah, he's so cute. But yeah, they look a lot like our pugs. And then these holes right there, they like connect. And it goes like that. But yeah. And then I have this Wolf um, salt and pepper shaker. And I got it from Raleigh. And feel free to ask where I got any of this stuff. Um, uh... I don't remember where I got that. I don't remember where I got the dog. Uh, we probably we got the basin jar from like our neighbor, I believe. Uh, so yeah, just feel free to ask where I got any of these things, um, including the this wolf. But I will tell you, and that wolf my parents got me from Mexico. But yeah, this one I got from Raleigh on my school field trip, and I was like, oh, it's a salt and pepper shaker. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then I noticed there's a salt and pepper shaker. So I went up to my mom and I said, Mom, this is a salt and pepper shaker. She was like, yeah, you can just use it for anything. So I just use it for decoration. And he's so cute. I love his little eyes and his ears are really cute. And his mouth is so cute. And I just love him so much. And his little tail is nice and big and fluffy. But yeah, I love him. It's not actually soft, but you know. <laughs> the tail isn't actually soft. But you know what I mean. Um, then here's the one that 
that my parents got me from Mexico. I love it so much. It is hand carved. Um, so yeah. And then I also got, um, I love that one so much, and I also love that one, obviously. Um, and then I got this wolf tooth. Um, it's not really like a dog thing or anything, but I just thought I would show it. This is a wolf tooth that I got at a store. Uh, it's like a store with like, like journals, you know, like stones, and I got real wolf fur from there. It's called October's Moon is the store. Um, but yeah, and this is a real wolf tooth. Yes, it actually came out of a wolf's mouth. And that hole right there that you can see through, um, it is from, no, it is not from, it's, um, to thread a, to, like, thread, um, yarn through or something and make a necklace, I guess. But yeah. But yeah, um, this is how it goes. This wolf just holds it in his mouth like that. Um, yeah, and then I have this book called Old, Ye Old Yeller. I have not read it yet, but I want to, because, but yeah, I kind of want to read it. Um, yeah, there's the back. You can read the back if you want. Old Yeller, and then, yeah, it's by Fred Gibson, and I love the doggy. He's so cute. And then I have Underwater Dogs, and guys, I think I'm going to have to make a part two after I show these pug posters because if I don't it will take way too long so yeah this is part one and then I have um uh this pug picture this pug picture this pug picture and these are all from calendars um, this pug picture and this pug picture uh, I think I already showed that one. This pug picture, which is like maybe my favorite, I don't know, but it's so cute. And then that's like the, uh, like the title page, I guess you can say, like the front of the calendar. And this is, it basically it says Pugs 2013, so I've had this for a really long time. And I like to take my pictures out of my calendars. And, um,. And, um, take them out and hang them up. But I used to hang these pug pictures up, but I don't really, uh, do it anymore. And then I can also make collages out of pictures like this. Like, of the calendar pictures. And then I have this. Um, this picture. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's all that. And then also I'm going to show you one quick thing, and it won't take long at all. It'll only take like two seconds. Um, and then I have to make and then I have to end this video and make a part two. Um so I have this little pug journal diary thing, and then I have this wolf journal. If you can kind of see it. Um, but yeah. Okay guys, so thank you for watching part one and I will be making a part two guys. Bye!